Hi guys, it's me Ty coming from my home here in Phnom Penh, Cambodia. And uh, how I like to start out this video is first of all uh, congratulating um, Every Man Has a Story YouTube channel. Uh, he's, he lives in the Philippines, he's 69 and his uh, Filipino wife is 30. And uh, they were supposed to have their first baby together here in March. And I was wondering, when the heck is this baby gonna come along? And they just announced it, that they just had the baby now. A little boy, healthy. Um, she did have trouble giving uh, birth though. They had to have a C-section, but everything turned out good. And uh, um, yeah, I, like I I just think it's a beautiful thing. I mean, all these, you know, when you're retired or whatever, moving over here, later on in your life um a man still wants to start a family and, and you know when you're younger you're chasing your career so hard they you miss your children growing up and they don't have a man in the house to to teach them things and everything so i think it's i think it's just wonderful that kid is going to have his dad at all the soccer games and everything so it's great there and uh, also, if you guys are wondering about like the financials of moving overseas, you know, what to do about your mail, uh, how to get your social security over here, contacting your bank and credit cards and all that, um, Old Dog New Tricks, uh, Paul in the Philippines, Old Dog New Tricks uh, channel. I, I know he's posted many videos, but he put out just a really long one just lately here, uh, here in the last like day. <laughs> and I, I really enjoyed it. So uh, that'll steer you guys in the right direction on that. And uh, yeah, so last night I was uh, I was um, out with friends here, you know, and my Cambodian friends, they've been trying to have me try a cricket <laughs> for the last few days, but I always brush my teeth before I go out to hang out with them. So I, uh, um, I, I finally decided to do it. We were out there and the girl pulls up on her bike with all kinds of different bugs on the back. And my friend, she's always eating crickets all the time. She eats them like potato chips. So. Yeah, so it's amazing how people, they can see you talking to something and then also they gotta be all loud and everything. So they, they do it on purpose. But yeah, so it, anyways, I, I psyched myself up to do it, you guys. Uh, when my friends tr ate one first, and then I uh, I looked at it, and yeah, it looked like a normal cricket. It didn't dir look dirty out of a darn dumpster or anything. So I, I chewed on it, make sure I wasn't really tasting it first, you know. And uh, it, it tastes kind of spicy and everything is what it tastes like. Then it tastes kind of like chicken or whatever, but with a lot of spices on it. So it wasn't bad. And then... Uh, they're also like, oh, you gotta try this. Uh, my friend is like, yeah, I try this uh, white larva on there too. And it looked like a giant, uh, a giant slug is what it looked like. It was uh, kind of short and really fat and it had all the ribs on it or whatever. And my other uh, Cambodian friend, she's like, I don't like it, I, I, I don't like it. And I was like, okay, thanks for the warning. <laughs> so, so, uh, my friend that tries everything, my, my pretty much my best Cambodian friend here, she goes ahead and she eats one first. So I go and chew into it and sure as heck, it was it was mushy as heck and I'm chewing on it. And like, I wasn't gonna puke or anything, but it didn't have like any good taste, didn't have really any bad taste either. More towards the bad taste, I guess. <laughs> so I ate it, but I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll probably never eat that again. I was like, that's just something to try because it did not taste enjoyable. It just made me think about it. as a kid, you know, they used to always say, oh, you should try uh, chocolate covered grasshoppers or chocolate covered ants. And I always thought, yeah, all that chocolate is just to hide the real taste. And I never did actually try them back in the USA. So, and then uh, after that, it was time to head on home. And and uh, I uh, started chatting with uh, one of the girls that I met here out at Riverside the other night. I don't know, probably, I don't know, it probably hasn't even been a week since I met her. I was out walking and three cute girls were walking around and I met them once on my walk across Riverside and then I ran them a second time and they happened to be walking in front of me and they saw me. So two of them go ahead and they 
they they walk in front of the uh, the one that was really purdy and and you could tell they were up to something there and so i was gonna try and walk around them because they were walking slower than me and they made sure i couldn't get around them and finally i so, I, so for a little while I'm walking towards the really pretty one that's kind of dragging her heels behind the rest of them, you know? And I look over and she instantly turns at me because she saw that and she smiles and I, I say hi and all of a sudden we all start a conversation. And, and we had just had a really nice conversation. So um, as, uh, at the end of it, I, I thought, oh yeah, I, 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 I'd be interesting in this girl, especially since she obviously likes me, you know? Because lots of times I'll go visit with the women around here and, you know, it, it's just kind of feel them out, you know, see if it's somebody that I'd be interested in dating. And uh, um, this one here, I, I thought she was cute and everything and, and she seemed really nice and and seemed to have a lot of the same interests as me and everything. They're, they're all three going to university, but they're way out by Sensok and that's where I've been applying to all these, well, that's where all the schools that have been offering me the... Um, uh, interviews and everything and where the one offered me a job but it was uh it wasn't a living wage i would actually be paying them to do it um and so tuk tuk rides are out there you know or whatever six or eight dollars which i i don't really have money <laughs> to be <laughs> pay, going over my budget to to be running around over there so me and her like i said we we just hit it off so at the end of it um normally like if, if I like a girl I'll ask like for WhatsApp or Telegram because that's what they use here is those two especially Telegram and that's what the schools use here too and uh, so she goes ahead and she gives me her Telegram and after she gets home and I head home at 9 I, I went ahead and I started visiting with her and like so we had quite a bit in common and and uh, she um, she said next month here it's gonna be Cambodia New Year but before that they're gonna have like some big uh, like charity event at the university and she's like would you be interested in coming it's gonna be like over three days or whatever and and I was like yeah I'd be interested and I was like can you uh, come pick me up with your motorbike and uh, she's like well I, I'll, I I can't guarantee that or whatever and I was like oh okay and uh, I, and she's like so what do you want to do and I was like well I will um, <laughs> as it gets closer we'll We'll see what we want to do. <laughs> She's like, okay, I'm fine with that. <laughs> so, so we were visiting every every night here, you know, how our day was and stuff like that on on over Telegram, of course, or whatever. And one day I was heading down to Riverside, and I just happened to check my phone because I was keeping it in my bag, and and of course when it dings or a phone call, I never hear it because it it doesn't ring that loud. And just put on pen here is. Just to talk with people and everything it's it's uh you don't notice that it's that loud but you definitely will not hear your cell phone in your bag so i start walking down down towards riverside and it's like you know what i'm just gonna check my phone or whatever and it showed one minute ago she texted me she's like i'm over at royal palace which she knows is just by my house you know just a very short walk from my house or whatever and uh she's like yeah i'm out down here or whatever <laughs> and and uh um I was like, yeah, I was like, I'll wait until you're done over there. I was like, I'll, I'll hang out with you on Riverside. We can spend some time together. And because uh, um, I was like, it costs us foreigners $10 to get into that Royal Palace, whereas it's 500 Cambodia real for a Cambodian person. And she's like, oh, okay. All right. So start going for my walk and she asks what I'm wearing <laughs> so that she can identify me because we've only met in person one time, you know. And... I go for my walk to the end of the park and check my phone and she texts me and uh, she's like, I think I saw you. And it's like, really? I was like, I was on the other side of Riverside. I was like, I didn't walk down to the side that's way down by Royal Palace or whatever. So I go ahead and I was sitting down with one of my friends here, the local Cambodians visiting or whatever. And she goes ahead and she sends me a picture of the boats out here on the, on the river. And I was like, yeah, I could be anywhere where you at or whatever. And I didn't hear her text messages back, so I just keep busy with my friend. And pretty soon a girl in a yellow shirt's walking down there. And I was like, oh, hey. Because <laughs> I, I recognized her right away or whatever. And she comes over and she's like, what do you want to do? And I was like, well, I was like, I haven't even walked all of Riverside. Let's go for a walk. So it, it was one of her new roommates because I thought she just had uh, four of them 
living together or whatever. I, I just met three originally, and she's like, oh no, she's like, I got, I got eight roommates. And I was like, and I told her roommate, I was like, well, I've got 16 roommates. She's like, wow. <laughs> so, so we're walking, we decided to walk down, or well, they wanted to walk down to Royal Palace and take pictures or whatever. And uh, they, they were kind of laughing and giggling because she's kind of shy is, 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 is how, just how this, this woman's personality is, you know. And uh, she's like, you want to, uh, so her friend was just taking pictures of her alone in front of the Royal Palace here at night or whatever. And uh, then afterwards, she's like, you want to take a picture? And I was like, yeah. Or, and and, uh, and uh, they're like, so I, you, um, so I was like, okay. I was like, am I going to take a picture with, with you or whatever? Because I was like, I'm not going to take a picture of myself. I don't need a damn picture of myself. So, so her and me walk up there. And I go to put my arm around her, and she kind of pulls away. And I was like, what the heck? you got to be freaking kidding me here. Because I, I, I was, I'm always evaluating stuff like this or whatever. You know, like, um, what's the person's intentions or, or whatever. So we take our picture, but she, like I said, she was kind of pulling away from me. I just felt awkward or whatever. So after that, we walked just a little bit more, and they're like, yeah, we got to head back. Um, back up to Stensock. We got... Uh, we got university here in the morning and I was like yeah understandable because it's close to I don't know actually it was probably like close to eight maybe or whatever so they're like are you gonna head home and I was like nope I'm gonna stay out until nine <laughs> so after I got home at nine I went and I texted her and and I uh before I even texted her I checked my phone and she texted me to let me know that she safely made it back to her place and and all that and um and I was like so what's the deal that you kind of pulled away from me when we were taking the picture? And she's like, well, you would be my first boyfriend. So she's like, I, I just kind of, uh, I'm not used to that from a man or whatever. And I was like, okay. I was like, well, you're going to, if you want a boyfriend, you're going to have to get used to it. <laughs> Having his arm around you. So it was about a few more things or whatever. And it was 10 o'clock and ready for me to go to bed. So I told her goodnight. And she's like, yep, think about me in your dreams. And I was like, okay. So... I'm gonna, you guys, I'm gonna stop this video here just because it's, sometimes they don't upload if they get too long and I'm gonna make a part two of this one here. So, uh, if you guys like this content, like, share, and subscribe. And I'll just keep picking them out here from my home here in Phnom Penh, Cambodia.